What's up, everybody? You know me, I'm BC. Welcome back to Beach Block Vanilla. Okay, as you can see where I am, guys, we just spent an AFK sash at Kraken's Iron Farm. Let me show you what we got here. We got a couple shelters. Blocks of iron. Blocks of iron. And almost blocks of iron. Also took a thing of pops as well. Got some extra shelter boxes just in case we need them, but we really don't. So I'm just going to grab these guys. And I AFK'd for about 12 hours and got three, basically, shelter chests of iron blocks. So that's pretty good. It filled up. Uh, I think we had almost three of these full in 12 hours. And that's pretty damn quick. But I've been doing lots and lots of stuff in between. It's been a while since I recorded. I've just been busy with life. My uncle passed away recently, so... Sadly, I was a little, a little preoccupied trying to get stuff done. Start a new job as well. It's going really good. Having a lot of fun with it. Something different. Mechanical, which is something I don't really do. But, guess what? I do it now. <laughs> Okay, so here, if you can see RB, bunny in here, but this is RB's, or our nether pub. Be stuff going up here. I think he's doing a little more still, but it looks pretty good as it is, man. So we head this way. This is ours. RB and BC eternal in the end. So let's go this way. Nether fortress, I think up here. Must be the kill chamber. Sorry, guys. No idea what just happened. That I don't know. JT Swamp Wither Skelly. And jungle. Oh, nice. There's a lot of things popping up here. These guys are pretty active. No one's on right now. As you can see, I've now hit 30 deaths. I've not been having the best luck in life. But I'll show you why. We got a lot going on. BC straight, RB is left, and portal, of course. So this is my zone, so I'm going to decorate this how I want it decorated. Which I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. I've got a couple ideas, but nothing we're gonna do today. We got something, we need something done good. And I have the iron now to finish it. I'm almost done. I think I needed like 10 more hoppers. But I've got them now. So let me show you what we've done, guys. You guys know that guy? Showed you that last episode. This one here, I've kind of started, but got a little preoccupied with, let me show you, let's see if I can fly up. There we are. The big reveal. Yeah. As you can see, I have this monstrous temple coming in. I was gonna make my grant my top floor here. So this is a Mayan temple, like I've been saying. I was kind of interested in doing. I've started my floor there, but I think I'm gonna move it down to this level. So we have enough flat zone. We're gonna build a little building up top. I think I'm gonna have to destroy all this. So it was cool when I made it, but I don't think it's something I really want. Which is too bad, but look at this. Look in here. We have... It looks like we have some problems with spawns. And also, we're going to have to take out this villager farm. I'm not sure where we're going to put that yet, but... These guys. Got him. Oh, we got some sheep. We've been having some volume problems, so that's... Probably why everything's a little louder than it should be, but apologize for that. But we're here. And what I've been doing is going around and putting in all of our hoppers, all of our systems. 
You see over here, this is the last spot left. So I need just the hoppers to fill in this here. And then we can start doing the redstone. This whole side is already fully wired in. You can see, so I've got two hoppers. Oh, that one's empty anyway. We got our oak leaves. Yeah, we just got a whole bunch of different storage things. A lot of things I just wanted to block so they didn't get away on me. But as you can see in here, all this is organized. I've moved a few things from the arrows in here now. Instead of here. You know, I'm still working on it. Still trying to get these details worked out. But we do have quite a bit. Gunpowder. I gave our vehicle shulker chest for that. Lots of redstone. Our redstone. I also gave him a full chest, full shulker box of redstone. So it's like lots, but you know. Uh, last bottle. I know. We're we'll making a lot of potions. Same with sugar. Hmm. Sticks. I've been thinking we would probably use sticks to make a smelter. And sticks aren't really going to be useful for too much. Going pretty good. Here is just the hole that I made to drop everything from my base up here. Because we used to be living on top. So I threw that all in here. We do get a couple spawns sometimes. But it's not that big a deal, you know. So we're going to drop down. And down here is where the magic happens. So in here is where both my farms, both of the witch farms, meet. Load it all into this hopper or thingy chain around here and into my dropper. Uh, we can get rid of all these shulker boxes that are empty. It'll go up top, that's fine. I guess what I show you this to do so I'll lock it so you just don't go away. We'll throw our 29 chest in there. Can unlock it, it'll take its trip around. Uh oh. That's why well, I usually keep this enclosed, but that's okay. Oh, and here we are. Chest move up into that water stream, go around, and then start here. And then because they're chest, they don't really have a home, so they will probably end up. This chest, oh yeah, there's all of our shulkers. Pretty good, but that's pretty sweet, eh? Let me show you down here. I've been doing a bunch of different ideas trying to get uh, these guys collecting everything. Because I keep running into problems where they... Hit and go back or get stopped here. So this. Oh, there's some witches up here getting about to get killed. I knew how to jump. I hear them witching around. They stay back because they do hurt and they're pretty good aim. So once this timer clicks, this is going to open. I think we're going to have to change this into something else. I'm just gonna run for it. I'm scared. There we are, as far as we can. So as soon as this redstone signal drops low enough, this will shut off, and then this lifts up for a few seconds. Oh, throw it. There we are. Now they float underneath. Yeah, there you can see the tip of their head, and then as soon as this builds up a little more. They get crushed. There we are. And when you're crushing them, they do drink potions of health or whatever. So they live a long time. That's why I have just throw about two stacks of good stuff. Kill them. Let's see how long we can get them. See how close that was. So 
do. They take a lot of damage. We have to. I was thinking maybe we'll do the iron. Oh, one died. Two left. Come on, buddy. Just die. Two down. And three down. So we could probably take away half of that. I think that will still work. That's good. Keep trying to improve it a lot. Here is how it works down here. So turn that off. When there's items in here, this stops. And here he comes. He'll totally load up. This comparator turns off, and then these guys slowly fade out just so there's time. And then when it gets empty, it takes off. And then these will slowly refill. I have this guy, this comparator set up. I don't really need these. But that when this is almost full, that's when this guy shuts off or turns on. He'll keep coming back until this thing fills up a lot. Not just a few. Be 32 and he's still sitting there, so when it comes back, it will not go in. Here he comes. Nothing in it, so he carries on. We got the same with the other side. I won't show you that too. It's basically the exact same design. But I think what I need to do is get up top. I need to put these last hoppers in, then we'll get back together and I will show you how we're doing the auto or just doing the farm thing. <laughs> okay, buddies. I wanted to do that. Don't worry about it. The okay, next thing we need is to make a whole bunch of these guys. So I'll make one or two of them on with you. Then I'm going to cut away and get the rest of them done. Show. That bottom one is how we start it. So we want this. Get rid of this one. And then these two here. And one there. So, and we're going to need this around the whole base. So we have a lot of work to do. But I'm going to grab my redstone chest. And let me just see. I think I took out some of these guys because I'm silly. It's probably close. What else, bro? So yeah, so we're going to go up here, let me show you, we want our repeaters facing this way into this block, there we are, we want redstone, almost there, there, there it is, we need right here. Peters again. It's a pretty easy design, for sure. It's one of those, everybody does it now, I'm not sure. I think this was the extended one that was uh, not fill up, overfill proof thing. Was this guy. Impulses, I think. These guys right here to finish it off. And there we are. This is one module. We have one for every one of these all the way around the back side. But yeah, guys, I got some work to do. I'm going to work on this, do some other things. Just hang out with Kraken a little bit. So we'll be back in a quick sec, my friends.
and this is the final steps. Break these guys. Awesome. And the last one. Oh god. Perfect. Easy to fix though. So finally, it took a little longer than I expected, but wasn't too bad. If I knew how to jump, it'd be even better. We want a repeater here. And on this side, just block it. And there. So, a couple quick checks. Need a few more. There are a few more of these torches. There. Perfect. So let's go up front. I put these in each corner so I can jump through, but the villagers can get through. But of course I built it after these villagers all broke out. So we had a bunch of them that love that corner. We still have some locked in the middle, but yeah, no, but, but. Okay, so we are fully loaded all across all sides. Everything is going great. Except, oh, look at that. This is why you double check. Peters, we want four of them. Set them right here, though. Three and four. And four. There. Just want to jump up here to make sure my redstone is in place. Oh, uh, come on. Whoa. Redstone here is all looking good. Uh huh. Uh huh. So that's good. Up here, we can check it all. Make sure our repeaters are facing the right way. Inwards, yeah. Perfect. Next big step we got. We are filling <clears throat> everything up so we can test the system. Because once we put all these in, we can test to see from one side to the other if an item is going to go all the way through it. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these last four torches. So these last four, which end up being these guys right here, these four will be our random drops. So let me just get rid of this here. So we can throw what we want down here and filter it through. So let's just see first. Something that we don't have in our system for sure. Ten and a site. Now we gotta watch. It should be popping up here first. There it is. One, two, three, four. I'm just kidding. You can't see which is which. And then it will make its way around everything. And hopefully, be right here. Already? No. And we got it all working. 
as you can see we got grass going up which is filling into this guy see there's a lot of grass in the system so it's gonna be working there for a while I set up this whole side so we got I think we'll up, update this too but. so we got this part and this part is done all set up this is all my wood and stones and all that fun stuff but yeah guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe guys we'll see you in the next one later